now let's focus on our chapter controllers so first thing important to know laravel is a mvc platform framework so here c stands for controller and it acts as a directing traffic between views and models so in our command prompt we'll start off with the basic thing like how to create a controller and how the controller is executed in laravel so First thing important to know that this controller is the only interface between the views and model. So whatever logic you define inside the controller, it will define your complete application structure. Let's focus on creating a new controller. So let's move on to a command prompt. I'll check it out for this. Just, just a second. So this is our command prompt. Here I will create controller. So con creating a controller is done like we saw in the previous example. So to create a controller named demo controller. So yes, the controller has been created successfully. The syntax is php artisan make control and the name of the controller. Now you can see the created controller inside the app directory. So let's go on to a project app http controllers. Here you can see the list of controllers which has been created. The demo controller is created here. So let's open with our demo controller. Let's check it out what is exactly there. A namespace has been included in it and it includes two classes. Illuminate HTTP request and app HTTP request. So all these has been done and the important thing you can see the class demo controller extends controller. This thing helps to define that this particular script is related to controller. Now let's focus on controller middleware. Now we have seen middleware before and it can be used in controller also. Middleware can also be assigned to the controller's root or within the controller's constructor. You can use the middleware method to assign the middleware to the controller. The registered middleware can also be restricted to certain method of the controller. So how this can be done? Let's check out for our roots.php. We saw the middleware, how it is done over here. So here we can assign a particular uh, middleware to root it. Now here we saw in role, we assign test controller. Here I will check out for demo controller it means that this particular middleware will use this controller for getting any kind of the business logic and developing it now let's we saw assigning middleware to the route so we have a, a role sorry we have a root controller which has demo controller at index it means it will use function index in it now assigning middleware within controllers constructor so we have our controller over here here I will con use the constructor as in object oriented programming you have seen every class has a constructor in it which is like same which has the same name as that of the user class so here i will define construct it will include two underscores you need to open that point and uh, and you should keep that point in mind because one underscore will show a syntactical error public function construct dollar this middleware uh, my middleware was rule so i will focus on rule so, okay. so i am done with it here we are assigning it the middleware using middleware method in the user controller so now we'll focus on one example here we'll create a user controller and then we will uh, assign some assign it to some particular middleware within routes.php then we will uh, create another middleware called first middleware and make some of the changes in it and let's have an interaction with both of them let's see how it is done so step one is add a step one is to create a user controller so let's create a user controller user controller has been successfully done let's move on to our routes.php it's here okay here i will uh, create uh, here i will uh, use it to some particular middleware also for example my middleware is first middleware so first of all i will create a middleware associated with it 
that is middleware first middleware okay i have created now in my routes.php i will use the same thing over here but the only difference will be that my user controller will be associated with first thing so here my this thing will be user middleware will be first uses user controller at my function will be show path okay so you have created a middleware also you have made some changes over here so now in first middleware.php let's open our first middleware.php which we created right now so it's a middleware for a folder first middleware.php okay here i will make a eco statement inside it we are not making much changes over here we're just focusing on some basic things eco br first middle where yep done now other things i will not change now i'll create another middleware second middleware i'll create it in the command prompt same way second middleware okay we are trying to use controllers and middlewares so this will for this example will focus on how different middlewares will interact with the same controller and how the output is being displayed so now let's check out for our second middleware uh, this is my second middleware open it up okay here i will echo like it is in the same way like we did in first middleware in the same way i will echo it in second middleware mentioning this is the second middleware just uh, focus on how it has been created other things will be done automatically okay now uh, let's next step is to uh, create a user controller user controller is already been created now in the user controller we will have we'll have a function also associated with it let's go to the user controllers first thing i'll include a constructor so this is defining a constructor okay. so i have defined a constructor over here so my fun constructor will be public this one underscore function sorry public function underscore underscore construct always check for the indentations public function underscore construct dollar this middle where second okay so now i will include a function show path the one which we defined over here in our routes.php okay i will uh, check again routes.php if you remember we defined a function named show path instead of in index so that is function show path here it will be request dollar request okay now inside show path we will uh, first of all take the url or the uri dollar request equal to path so don't take any spaces you should obviously take the indentations perfectly path then uh, let's echo this uri so we echo dollar uri 
the next thing is you will request url also from the system so dollar dollar request url so first was path second is url now i will include a break tag first let's let's print it appropriately so i'll include a break tag pr okay accordingly save the files time to time because any kind of issues will lead, lead to low, uh, your loss of code url eco urls so my url will be dollar url okay done now in the similar way i will also have method equal to dollar request method echo same way i'll include this thing break and method method okay so now it's done so let's serve this particular project so the application has already been served we have seen over here so it's running correctly currently in localhost colon 8000 let's see how it is being how it is working first let's check out for our routes.php also app http routes.php so here i will also do a small change instead of i'll say get user i will specify user controller path let's see how it works in the browser so this is my browser here i will include a text user controller path in the same way so if you check it out in the browser it would be like this so in this way we saw like localhost we have served it in the uh, artisan file but when we check it for here it user controller path it will show in this way first middleware second middleware uri url and the method so in this way the controller helps in functionality of the laravel